And here the arm booth, you're, you have a banana sensor. So what, what we're showing here is integrating machine learning uh, into a, actually a Unity application. Um, if I just move it around so it gets an idea of the, uh, the plane, and if I bring it down, it should recognize the banana. Hopefully. Apple. Nice. So in there is just a Samsung? So this is a Samsung S8, uh, and if you, uh, we're just showing it in this, uh, this with this screen to make it easier to show the AR application. So there, it's it's recognised the banana and the apple, and it's uh, the monitor, and it's just on uh, virtual uh, companions to all those objects, which are now, uh, which you can now kind of browse around. And it should recognise the. Uh, if I just put the phone down there. Should recognise that too. Yeah. So we, we draw some graphics on the desk, and those are those are those are fixed. So it's using it's using a combination of things. It's using RMNN to do the uh, the recognition, and it's using Google AR Core to do the augmented reality piece. And do you have some other uh, stuff over here going on with VR? It's just showing that uh, the, the quality is uh, like a console, right? You had this. The other day, during the Alex, why don't you explain? Yeah. Uh, this is the demo you had the, the other the other day right? at the press conference. Yes. Yeah. Um, so in this demo, kind of showing a console-like experience. Um, so we've. Uh, sorry, give us a sec. It would help if I would launch it. Is is was the game that you ported, right? You. Uh, there was a game ported to. Uh, well, um, so yeah, so we work with a developer called Fast Travel Games. Uh, they released a game called Apex Construct uh, back in February of this year for PlayStation and HTC Vive. So we work with them closely to uh, port the, one, one of the levels of their game to mobile, uh, to a standard Samsung S9. So we showed this um, this demo at GDC this year. It was very well received. How does it compare to quality? Between this and this, uh, so naturally, was the the texture is a bit lower. Uh, but we've what we've done is we've used AR Core to enable instant eye tracking. So we're using the camera of the phone itself to uh, allow for six degrees of freedom. So players can have a more immersive experience. Like you know, uh, dodge bullets, uh, peek around corners, or crouch, whatever they like. So you have fully free to do anything you can on the console. Um, your headset.